Welcome back, everybody. It's time to lock down some Pioneer Slivers, and we won the we lost the die roll. Sorry, playing against White Lotus, and I can dig this hand a lot. I like it. Turn one Gale Rider against Forest. Uh, I guess I'm just hoping there's no turn one Elf. That's a good sign. I'm hoping this isn't like the mono green ramp. That wouldn't be pretty. Gal Rider into probably leeching. Setting up with the leeching is pretty nice. Or, mm, let's see. Swing for two in the air or two. It doesn't really matter. Uh, maybe we'll just play Lord. I don't know. Collected Company. That's cool. I'm going to put down Mutavault now. And let's... Let's go Lord. Let's go Lord. We got this game won. It's all good. Next turn we can go Leeching. Swing for six. Or just put down another predatory swing for six. You sacrifice two foods if you do create a giant, otherwise create three food tokens. All right, so they're trying to create big giants. So they got life gain for days. My guess is they're trying to set up for another giant opportunity next turn. That's what it would look like to me. That's sweet. All right, so I think we're gonna go predatory. Striking. Call it a day. Call it some GGs on the on next turn. I'll be all she wrote. I like it. Wicked Wolf. Fights up to one target creature you control. Sacrifice poo a food a pood. If they're smart, they'll take out my Gale Rider. If they're smart. They're smart. They're a smart boy. Uh, but they're tapped and we're going to slam a leeching. I forget you tapped him afterwards. Uh, so that's unfortunate. We're just going to go leeching. Swing with the Mutavault. And say goodnight. There we go. I like it. Pioneer Slivers, baby. Take out the Immortal Sun. Um, let's see here. Just green, so I'm not super worried about shapers. Fatal push will be good for those giants if that's their, their goal here. I feel like Pithing Needle might be good in this matchup, but I haven't seen anything in particular that'll be, like, super good. Death Touch. Cut one thing. Let's cut an icon. Run it back. Can't keep this hand, unfortunately. Maybe if there was some way we could play our Mana Swift, we could keep it, but... Can't do it with this hand. This hand... Is a keep. It's not a great keep. I think I'm gonna just get rid of Icon. So we can get all our mana for Collected Company. It's not a great keep. But we're really counting on our collected companies here. We're going to be... Uh, and they have a blocker for a Gale Rider, which is pretty sucky. Going to be on par with them as far as uh, pacing goes for the turns. But, see what we can do. Two Gale Riders, we can slowly start getting in for damage, I suppose. We just need to draw into another land. They have their second food. Mm, 
Hmm. Well, that's nice. So let's go Mutavault Predatory. And at least we can attack into the Gilded Goose now. Bone keeps going off. My apologies. <clears throat> we have a backup Gale Rider if they do target it with uh, something. With a Wicked Wolf or something. Castle Garenbrig. Okay. Okay, okay, so they can pop off with their other thing. So they're going to already put a counter on this guy. Nice 3-3. Three, three. They got two cards in hand. We still need to pull into our third, our fourth land. There it is. All right, good. Uh, so let's go ahead and play Overgrown Tomb. Say no. Play our Gale Rider. Actually, actually mm, yeah, that was a mistake. I think we could have paid two or we could have played Unclaim and attacked in with the Muta Vault. That would have been the better line. Uh, looks like they're just going to take it. That's fine with me. They could do a lot this turn, though. Back in their foods. Flagship. Okay. So they kill our lord. Fair enough. It's gnarly. Play the unclaimed. Sliver. Uh, let's do it like this. See what we can hit. A diffusion and a mana swift. Not the best of hits. But we can still keep getting in there. It's a crew three. Oh, it's a crew three. Yeah, they can just eat one of our guys here. Oops, that was a mistake. I was trying to look for the crew and I couldn't find it when I first read it. Um, that's fine. We have another one. But we definitely need to have a good hit with Collect a Company next turn. They got three cards in hand. Golden Egg. If they attack with Sky Sovereign. Yeah, we're in trouble. <laughs> I shouldn't have attacked. I shouldn't have attacked. Because now they can just kill our other Gale Rider. That was a mistake. They can attack with Sky Sovereign. Hit us for six. And then uh, kill our other Gale Rider. Actually, no. They'd have to pay... They don't have enough to target it anymore. So we're actually okay. Okay. Alright, good, 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 good. Another Mana Swift. Not really what I want to see either. Well, play other Mana Swift. There's not much I can do right now with our draws, so I think I'm just going to pass and do Collect a Company end of their turn. Or if they try to, like, do something. I got a Wicked Wolf. Gonna 
keep searching. Another gilded. He gets bigger. Leeching and another Gale Rider. And a Sliver Lord. Why do I always miss the Sliver Lords? They never put it with the creatures. Why does it happen like that? Why does it happen like that? I don't understand. They never put it. They never put it with it. Oh, that's so annoying. So now we just lose our freaking. Dude, for no reason? Ah, oh, it's so frustrating. Every time, he's over there just floating around with the lands. And I don't catch it. Well, <clears throat> let's see. We can attack him. I can block one of our guys. But we can hit them for... Let's see here. They can block, 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 take three, and then an extra six. So they're taking... Nine? Sure. Does that seem reasonable? Seems like a good race, right? I can eat one of our guys? hitting them for a lot. Why am I not attacking in with Mutavolt? That's the big question here. Why do I keep not attacking in with Mutavolt? I could have hit them for... Almost lethal. Almost lethal. Every time I'm messing up and I'm missing things I should have done, like taking my Sliver Hive Lord and not attacking with my Mutavolt, it is unfortunate. So, their best bet is to block the leeching. Probably. Because that thing's going to really kill them next turn. I'm going to block the diffusion. That, that makes sense, actually. Block the diffusion. They can attack, kill something else. Okay, so they go to four. We have our leeching for now. I'm messing up. I feel like I'm losing this because I'm messing up. Should have attacked him with that Mutavolt, man. Mutavolt would have put him to... Put him to one. That's hard. That's hard. That's a hard thing. That's hard, man. If I lose because of that, that's on me. Let's see what they do, though. They got a card... handful of cards... Kill our diffusion so Wicked Wolf can kill something. Doesn't look like they're going for that this time. I still could play a land, though. Wicked Wolf. Uh... Yup. That's fine. Block two. I can put them to one next turn. I need to get like a Lord or something to really kill them. It's basically what needs to happen. Cause I kill, what do they kill at this point? A Gale Rider or a Metallic? I think that just kills them, actually. They kill a... What else do you got? Because you kill the mim the metallic, but then he's tapped, right? He's tapped, so I just win. Well, that's nice. Uh, let's see here. 
You block two, you take two. Okay, no, no, no. You don't, you don't win yet. Uh, let's see. Well, we're going to get some life back. Still going to hit them for... Three. Now they go to one. Played the Wicked Wolf. Sloppy. Sloppy plays. So what other form of removal can they get us on here? They need to kill both their Gale Riders, that's for sure. They need to attack, they need to like have another Wicked Wolf and then attack with the Sky Sovereign and then they can block and survive another turn. Well, let's see. Wicked Wolf, tap him, Sky Sovereign, fight, kill. Well, three, cre four, cre uh, let's see, four creatures. And then they could block. Yeah, that's still tough. Getting in there. For ten damage. Killing my lifelinker. Scared. Scared. Wait, they do stuff and I'm like, they gotta have something else, right? But then they don't and I'm just like confused because this kills them here. Like what else is there for them to do? Do they have a fog effect or something? Like, I don't know. We just got lucky with pulling another siphon, but... What do you got? Block, block and what? Make food and survive? Make food and survive. Okay. Make food and survive. I'm just not seeing their lines. I'm not used to this deck. Gain three, go to one again. We go to 14. Wicked Wolf fights Gale Rider. Gale Rider? That's the best play here. That's what I keep saying. Like, take out our evasion, and we can't compete with your ground level stuff here. And I'm in a position to chump lock now, too. Yep. We just need to grab a leeching. That's what we need. Swing with Sky Sovereign. Kill our Gale Rider. Yup. Do I still win here though? Because can I attack in with Mutavault and still kill them? What am I not seeing, guys? What am I not seeing? <laughs> Maybe he's hoping I don't see it. Well, that just seals it. That's unfortunate. All that work to kill the Gale Rider. 
We were getting good top decks, that's for sure. But yeah, we saw... I mean, even if we didn't get Gale Rider, we just got to land there. We just swing with the Muta Vault, and that should be that should be it anyway. So, good game. We pulled it out. We made some sloppy plays. Uh, not grabbing a Hive Lord and missing our Muta Vault attack, which should have put him to one several turns ago. But hey, we pulled it out. <laughs> so, hopefully you guys enjoyed that one. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe if you like watching some Sliver videos. Pioneer Popper. We got Popper coming on Friday, so stay tuned for that, and we will see you guys in the next video.